Hi everyone, this is Amanda and I'm here to talk books with you. I'm back on my channel here with a book haul. I picked up a few things from a couple of my favorite bookstores in Canada and I want to share them with you. Uh, the first book is uh, the only one I picked up from our big chain bookstore which is Chapters slash Indigo. Um, I do go to the chapters nearby. It's a couple of stores high and it's actually one of my favorite places to be. So um, I picked up the Diviners by Libba Bray. This is set in the 20s uh, and it's about a bunch of young adults who have powers and they need to stop um, evil. This is a series. There's three books out now and uh, there's going to be a fourth one coming out hopefully soon. If you watch Libra, I don't know why you would but come on, come through for me. <laughs> uh, so I picked up, anyway, I picked up the first one um, through Chapters Indigo. And the rest of my haul is from Book Outlet, which is my favorite online bookstore. Um, amazing bargain books. And you can find a lot of newer stuff there too. Not brand new, but um, once, you know, the paperbacks come out for hardbacks, then they'll have the hardbacks on the website. It's, um, I'd say check it out. I have actually a link below if you want to uh, check it out there. And uh, it is very inexpensive, <laughs> which is a problem probably, but um, I picked up the next two books in the Diviner series, so that's The Lair of Dreams. Uh, that's where I meet the rest of the Diviners, um, and they have to stop another evil paranormal threat. And then the third book, uh, this one's a hardback, and I got um, Before the Devil Breaks You by Libba Bray, and... This is the, like I said, the third book in the series, and basically this is when they kind of meet their big boss, and uh, they're trying to figure out a way to stop him. Um, this obviously ends on the cliffhanger. There's one more book coming out in the series, and I'm very excited for that. I plowed through these books like nothing. They are so good. The first book's a little slow to start, but honestly, if you stick through it, the rest are incredible. Um, next up, I got, uh, a different book for my Pop Sugar Challenge. I wanted a different book for two female authors. So we picked up Burn for Burn. Um, this is co-written by Jenny Han, who did To All the Boys I've Loved Before and The Summer I Turned Pretty. I liked both of those series, so I'm actually excited to see what she does here with a co-author, um, I never know how to say this name, so I'm just going to show you with it's Sibbins. Show. Please don't. <laughs> don't judge me. Um, anyway, Ms. Vivian. <laughs> um, I think from what I remember, this is kind of a situation of three girls who want to exact revenge, and they don't want to get caught, so then they kind of all make a pact that this one will do this, this one will do that, and it's kind of like, you know, they have those murder for hires where one person murders that one's wife and that one's husband does that one's wife and whatever. It's to hopefully not get caught, I think. This is also a series. I don't know if I'm going to read the rest. We'll have to see how this one goes. But um, I'm excited kind of for that. I do like Jenny Han's writing. I think she's writes adorable characters, so we'll see. Um... Next, we have All the Ever Afters by Danielle Teller, and this is the story behind Cinderella's stepmother. So, yeah, this is, sounds amazing. Um, I was on hold for this book at my library, and I saw this on Book Outlet, and I was like, yeah, okay, I'm gonna pick that up, because <laughs> then I can read it as soon as possible. I probably won't, but <laughs> we can hope. Uh, next, I purchased these two books. I read the first one last year. I also purchased it through Book Outlet, and I don't think they had the next two on there at the time, but when I saw them, I had to pick them up, and that is the Call the Midwife um, remaining two volumes. So we have Shadows of the Workhouse, and we have Farewell to the East End. Uh, if you've seen the show, it's basically what the... Uh, she was based off of, sorry, the books, like the stories in the books. So this is um, a series written by Jennifer Worth. She was a midwife, 
friends make a new midwife in the East End in London. Uh, very poor area. And just the situations that she went through there, acclimatizing to it. And um, she does eventually move on. I think she goes into cancer care, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it, this follows her journey. So the first one was kind of her coming into midwifery. And then these two, I think, are one's focusing more on um, I think work houses and the other one is like her farewell when she leaves. So um, I have watched the series, which is an amazing series. The books are really good. Actually, I think I described them as um, sitting there with Jennifer Worth and like having tea and her telling her stories. It's actually really, really nice read and they're not too long, which is nice also. And next up we have The Terror by Dan Simmons. Uh, this was made into a series and I have not watched it. I don't watch a lot of TV anymore, but I heard it's amazing. I think it's about, um, it's about the Franklin Expedition in 1845 and they get stuck. I think in the ice and then they have to wait for it to thaw and it's not thawing. And then I think there's something sinister going on. So, uh, it's a pretty hefty book. I mean, what are we looking at here? 763 pages. Uh, if it's fast paced though, I'll probably get through this pretty fast. Um, I do like my monster books, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, next we have, um, a book that I probably like, I feel like my mother, my mother reads a lot of detective, like Sue Grafton and Jacques Perot and stuff like that. So I feel like I should have read this sooner, but better late than never. We have Murder on the Orient Express, by Agatha Christie. I have never read an Agatha Christie novel. Um, I have seen the older movie. I haven't seen the new one, but I've seen the older movie. Um... And I'm excited to actually read this. It's a pretty quick read, I think. And um, this is not normally my cup of tea. So I thought I'd just get something small to start off with and something that's popular. So we'll see how that goes. Um, yeah, I don't really like detective stuff. Cop stuff is not really my thing. So I do hope to expand my horizons, though. So this is why I've got this book here. Um... Next, we have Purple Hibiscus by Chimamanda Ngozi Adichie. She wrote Americana, which I read in January for my January book club. And um, this book, I think, is it's another book about a Nigerian um, female and her brother. And um, I think they take a trip and then um it's kind of like a coming of age thing like they kind of discover themselves and their independence and things like that so I'm excited I really liked her writing and I think I might try to pick this up in the next couple of weeks if I have time because she is actually from Nigeria so it'd be really good to read during Black History Month but honestly I feel like we should just celebrate Black History all the time diversity yes um and my final book for this haul is something that I was eyeing for the longest time on Indigo's website. And I was humming and hawing if I should get it. And then I saw it on Book Outlet and it was like one of the first things I put in my cart. That is Lost Boy by Christina Henry. And this is the story of Captain Hook and how he became Captain Hook. So I think in this one he was a lost boy. And I guess I don't know if he got ousted by Peter Pan or what the situation is but I really like the story of Peter Pan and Captain Hook I mean one of my favorite movies is Hook from the early 90s with Robin Williams <sighs> so good um so yeah I am excited to pick that up also and I think I actually substituted this in my pop sugar challenge um for the book that the retelling of a classic because Peter Pan is a classic novel so uh, I'm going to read this one instead, as opposed to Pride and Prejudice and Zombies, because I'm excited for this one a lot more. 
Actually, if you've watched my Pop Sugar Challenge video, I think my TBR has almost completely changed. <laughs> so I think probably at least a dozen of the prompts I've changed the, the book I'm reading. So uh, I will update you guys on my status when I'm about halfway through my challenge, uh, which should be in the next hopefully couple months because of the fact that I am already at 14. So go me. Um, anyway, that's it for my book haul. I do have a couple more books coming in, um, but I will put those in my next book haul if I can remember to do that. I'm probably going to be cooling it down on the shopping though in the next couple months as we have some big purchases around here to make. So I won't have, um, I won't have as much expendable income. Um, but I will try to do some secondhand shopping and book outlet always seems to have sales and such. So I'm sure you'll see me around here soon with some new books. Um, if you've read any of these books and you have some advice for me on them, that would be fantastic. Um, I feel like not a lot of people have read some of them. I mean, I haven't heard too much about Lost Boy, Purple Hibiscus. I haven't heard anything about that or The Terror. I mean, these are books that I know about, but I don't know anyone that's really read them. So uh, if you've read them, let me know. Let me know what you thought. If you have a Goodreads account, you've read, uh, written a review about them, link it below and I will check it out. And um, for now, uh, that's all I have for you today. And thanks for watching. If you want to see more content from me, then subscribe. And I look forward to talking to you guys again soon. Bye.